Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So this is my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today we have the Flower Ball Ornament by Sharon Mann. And this is a really cool concept. This is really kind of something that you could uh, put with the Rainy Day Craft Project or something you know the kids are growing squirrely at home. So what you can just do is crochet these little flowers and I was thinking how are they joined? They're not sewing. So you tap a little bit of glue in behind the flower and you just stick it to the ball. So I'm gonna just show you how to do these really quick flowers. They're really that quick and then you just have to do a total of 22 of them per ball. It's a four inch uh, circular ball uh, in order to do it. Now it says flower A and flower B. All the difference is that there's just different colors. Um, you know again that you can make your own creativity. You can be as multiple um, colors as you want or just as basic as you want to as well. So without further ado it's recommending a four and a half millimeter size G6 crochet hook and just red heart super saver today. So let's begin. You can decide to change colors as often or as little as you want to. And you want to chain two, one and two. Now I want you to come to the very first chain and I want you to, to apply six single crochets there. So one, two, three, four, five and six. So if you're not sure just count it back from the hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six and the sixth one back is where you're going to slip stitch it so that you can carry on into row number two. So technically they're saying for you to f uh, finish this off. So just fasten it off. Just weave in your tails and then we're gonna move on to round number two which is the final round. Is it that simple of an idea? So just pulling it through and I'd weave it in a little bit so that you don't have to get so manic about your uh, um, weaving in the ends with a tapestry needle if you don't have to, right? So let's uh, move on to a different color and we're gonna continue then. And uh, if you wanna get rid of your tails at this point, now is a good time to do it. So let's uh, move on to round number two. So let's begin round number two. So just create a slip knot if you want to. I think in this case I probably wouldn't. I would just keep a loop instead. I did it the first time and I thought, well, Okay, so I'm just gonna come through into any one of the single crochets and I'm just going to just attach here and I want to chain two. So one and two. Then in the same one that I just did that into, I wanna do a half double crochet. Noticing that I'm going up over top of the straggler and then chain two, one and two and then in the same one where I was just at, just slip stitch. Okay, there's a petal right there. So coming into the next stitch, so it's just slip stitch first, chain two, half double crochet and then chain two and slip stitch to the same one that we were just working in. So you see there's kind of three steps all in one stitch. So come to your next stitch that's available to you. So slip stitch, chain two, half double crochet chain two and slip stitch. So you're gonna do that. You will have a total of six round our petals when you go to do this. So just slip stitch, chain two, half double, chain two. I keep grabbing plies today. I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay and then come to the next one. So slip chain two, half double crochet, chain two and slip. And finally do the last one. So slip, chain two, half double crochet, chain two and slip. And then all you just gotta do here, um, I found with myself is that I joined it to the very first one but I found it just looked awful. It looked awful. I'm not even gonna deny that. So what I would do is just cut this right at this moment and just pull up a yarn strand and see how it's not closed. What I would do with the tapestry needle instead because of the way I did it then I joined it was so obvious and that it actually made uh, one, two, pedal, oh, two petals look like it was one. All I would just do is with the tapestry needle just pull it over to the first petal. See and therefore I don't lose that point and then turn it over and then just weave it in and out of the project three times. So one, two and 
three. So you've gotta make 22 of these um, per ball and uh, depending on the size that you wanna do too. If you want bigger flowers you just gotta increase your hook size and uh, it actually works out pretty nice and it's a neat little project that you can enjoy with kids or even for yourself if you wanna match something to a Christmas tree. Even a gift topper, really kind of a cute flower. Just tap it in the back with some glue and you're good to go. So this is how you do the flower ball ornament. This is the flower and now it's up to you to do the glue if you want so. And anyway the bow is just really easy. You can chain just 52 and then just tie it, that uh, chain like a bow and then just put it at the base of the hanger and you can see that on the sample as well. So pretty neat and really cool idea. So that's it for now. Have a good one. It's Mikey on behalf of Yarn Inspirations as well as the crochet crowd.com. We'll see you. Bye bye. <laughs>